What's up, family? This is your local OG motherfucking jugger. No, up in this motherfucker. Ooh. I like to talk about something that I ran into, and it kind of brought up something that I don't really care for. It's the whole ideal of manufactured beef, right? So, and what made me want to talk about this, because earlier today I was watching some videos, some Juggalo videos, and one of them was a Boy Blue video. And so, it said CPN drama or whatever. So I check it out. And I watch a little bit of the beginning, I scan through a little bit, and I get to the point where CPN was actually on the the uh, live stream. And sure enough, he's sitting there fucking ripping this uh, drunk dude a new asshole. And this dude's inebriated like a motherfucker. You can't even really understand what he's saying. I mean, he could have been on pills and drunk and everything else. I don't know. But he was pretty fucking fucked up. That's all I do know. But either way, so... So I'm, I'm watching it for about 10 minutes. And I'm waiting for Boy Blue to say something because his icon was there. But he didn't. What's her name had left? Jamie had left because Boy Blue was fucking ripping into her. Which I don't know what transpired in between them two. So I'm not going to get on that subject. And I don't even know about the whole Victor dude. But I just know he was fucked up to the point where he really couldn't defend himself verbally. And CPN was just teeing off on him like, it, you know, like fucking playing T-ball. I don't know how else you put it. So, it just reminded me, like, and I'm starting thinking, like, why would Boy Blue even invite CPN to begin with? I mean, he's got to be smart enough to understand. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. But he's got to be smart enough to understand that 9 out of 10, that's just going to result in drama. So I, I was starting to think it's one or two things. It's got to be. There's no other way around. There's one, one or two things. One, CPN and fucking Boy Blue, their beef is nothing but orchestrated. Just like Crazy McCormick. And CPN's beef was what you know CPN admits to about lying about being mad at someone beefing with them <clears throat> or two boy blue in his evil genius moment in such a brilliant doctor evil moment he orchestrated it to where he manipulated CPN to come on his live stream to cause beef so he can get more views. Because we all know boy, that's what Boy Blue is about. He's all about getting as many views as possible, many subs as possible, you know, whatever, many likes. You know, he don't lie about it. He's honest, up front. That's what he's trying to do. <clears throat> but see, where I have a problem with that and even with Crazy McCormick kind of lost a little bit of respect for him when it came to that whole issue when he admitted that him and uh, CPN had manipulated this beef or manufactured this beef to get more views and likes or whatever. But see, that, that don't help the community none. Even when ICP and Twisted did their whole split thing, like I've always said, hell, what lies what lies beneath is a fucking hardcore twisted fan, or I, I wouldn't I don't know if I say hardcore, but he's he's down with twisted like a motherfucker, and I ain't got nothing but love for the dude, so I don't believe in that whole split with the whole twisted and ICP shit. Now, at one time I would take up for ICP with a lot of things, and I still will, but at the end of the day I still fucking call you my homie and shit. Now, everybody has a disagreements, but this is this hateful shit has to stop, and it is what it is. But I just find it, 
perplexing that for someone that admits that he has manufactured beef with Crazy McCormick, and he said when he first started doing this whole YouTube and Juggalo type shit, he targeted Boy Blue because Boy Blue had more views and sub. This is actually on video. He targeted Boy Blue because Boy Blue had more uh, subs and likes and this and that. And he wanted to try to get some of those. Try to steal them away for the most part, you know, whatever. So he started beef with uh, Boy Blue. So I'm starting to wonder... If this ain't just fake fucking Juffalo beef. Because one way or another, it is. One way or another. Either CPN and Boy Blue are in it together. Because he had to invite CPN to the live stream. So they're talking to each other. Now, CPN might have been in the live stream talking. I don't know. I didn't catch the beginning. So I fast forward through some of it. But Boy Blue had to send him an invite. A group invite to come in. So, either A, they both knew about it, and it was meant to be like that because it was manufactured beef. Let's just start some shit to try to get some views together. Or B, Boy Blue manipulated CPN to help them get more views. Take your pick. And it's really, it's sad to see how the jugglers are so enthralled with drama to where they get a lot of views with that shit. A lot of people viewed into the CPN uh, Chuck Reeves debate. Wait, no. CPN Chuck Reeves debate because they thought there's going to be a lot of drama packed into it. And it's just. I don't know what to say. I wanted to see a decent debate, personally, but <laughs> it didn't happen. It was an ass-kissing contest, which I guess is better than drama. But then they, then once they leave each other, they start up drama again. And they keep the split going and going instead of saying, hey, we're fucking, actually, we're butt buddies. And, you know, we're, we're fucking homies. We pulled, we pulled one one over your eyes. We just did the whole crazy McCormick fucking CPN beef. And my thing is too, for anybody to show respect to somebody that has admitted to manufacture beef is suspect in my eyes anymore. And I don't know what to say anymore about it. Because it does not help the community. None, none does it not help. <clears throat> And what's funny about it, like I was telling my my homie what lies beneath, because he's worried about some drama that's landed on his front doorstep or whatever. Like I told him, like I understand what you mean, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because he said you probably won't have too many homies talking to him or he's lonely. But, you know, I always talk to you, homie. You ain't got to worry about that. You know, there's a few homies on here to always be fucking cool with, no matter what. But uh, but I, I I said it in my minute. I'm a I'm a I feel like a fucking outcast among outcasts on YouTube. I just do. You know I don't know how else to put it. Because when motherfuckers be real and shit and keep shit real and show the truth, you get shunned. You become an outcast. Uh, but when motherfuckers are fake and stir up fake drama and fake beef and they divide and split the family, they get a pat on the shoulders. You know, and it's just like, you know, and I know a lot of real juggalo YouTubers besides me that deserve uh, more of a viewing than all four of those motherfuckers put together. All those motherfuckers that manufacture beef. All those fake-ass juffalos. And it's... It's discouraging. 
I was just going to say, it's really discouraging. You know, it's, it's depressing to see the, what the culture has become sometimes. And I try to ignore it and just say, oh, well, times change. And, but a lot of this shit wouldn't fly back in the day. That's all I got to say. A lot of this shit would not be flying. A lot of motherfuckers like y'all would have got ho checked by now. But all the old school juggalo enforcers and shit seem like they retired. They're just tired of the bullshit themselves, I guess. But I'll stick it out maybe to fucking it'll flip around. You know, like say history repeats itself. So in that theory and that thought. The juggalo history itself is going to repeat itself, and we're going to go back to the golden age, and everything's going to write itself. You know, universal law is a motherfucker, and it's about time for it to fucking start kicking in, because shit has to stop. All this manufactured beef is some fucking bullshit, <clears throat> and I don't like it. I think it's ridiculous. It's childish. And for anybody to fall for it is ignoramus. It's moronic. And it's just as suspect as those motherfuckers when you fucking, you, you accept it. But, uh, to all my real motherfucking jugglers out there that understand what I'm saying, man, much clown love. It's very few and far in between anymore a lot of fam kids get things twisted and CPN is a fam kid and I've actually heard that term before CPN said it the CPN is good at stealing things uh, but yeah just fuck the fake fuck the juffalos much fucking clown love whoop whoop